Okay, friends, welcome back to the Wealthy Wild YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna show you five time-saving hacks on Show It. So let's go ahead and dive in. My first Show It time-saving hack is actually called the Special Copy Paste. I don't know if that is like the legit name, but that is what I call it. So this actually is like my most used thing on Show It and it saves so much time. So as you know, or you should probably know, you should stick to the same fonts and the same sizes throughout your designs. So for my paragraph, I really want the same size, right? So I went ahead and changed this um, paragraph text to just a random cursive, and you can see that it's at a size 19, and you it's you can't even read it. Obviously not what I want, but what I do want is for it to match this paragraph size. So what I'm going to do is click Command C, and then come down here and click this, and click Shift Command V. And you see it changes it right away. It changes the font and the size to fit. Now you can also, let's say I want this to be the same as this. I'll do the same thing. Command C, come over here and shift Command V. And now you'll see it changed also the alignment. So I will center that, but you can also do this for multiple things. So let's say this these are all different fonts <laughs> and it just looks crazy and I want them all to be like this. What I can do is again click Command C and then click this while holding Shift down. I just click all of the different elements that I want and then I can do again Shift Command V and it changes it over to match that first one. My second Favorite time-saving show it hack is actually the mobile layout. So as you know, if you design on desktop and go to mobile, it'll look like a jumbled hot mess. Everything is layered on top of each other. And so you can either change all the settings and really just drag and drop until it's perfect, or you can cut a step by whatever section you're in. You can come here and click the three dots and then come down to lay it, <laughs> layout mobile. And it will, I always do the scaled, but it'll automatically copy over all the same settings. So the colors, fonts, everything like that. And then you can just adjust down to fully optimize, like change the font sizes to be, you know, reflected on mobile. But this saves a lot of time and I use this all the time. Now, my third is going to be actually converting things to a site canvas. So if you've played in Show It for long enough, you'll probably know that your site is made up of two different kinds of canvases. One is a site canvas and one is a page canvas. Now the difference is a page canvas is going to be like this header where it's just on the home page, right? It's not gonna be anywhere else, but things like this footer that are on every page, you're gonna wanna be a site canvas. And what that means is when I come in here and I make any edits to this, it will automatically reflect that on all the pages that this site canvas is on. So when you're creating a lot of pages, I recommend on the first page you start creating, making as many canvases as you can to be a site canvas, and then adding those all into all the other pages so that you do not have to do it multiple times. Now, my fourth time-saving show at Hack is actually adding in blogs. So because it's integrating with WordPress, there's a lot of different settings that you need to have be perfect in order to show your blog posts that you're writing in WordPress. So what I recommend when you're just starting out is actually adding a new free um, blog just from the Show It library. You can use any of these, but then when you add it in, you can come here and of course you can change everything, but when you add this, the settings will already be for this to show the featured image and this to show the, you know, the content and 
um, this to click through. So this can actually save a lot of time just so that you have all the settings right. And then of course you can make this on brand, but this actually, I, I really recommend. And the last show it hack I actually recommend is starting with one of my templates from my shop because they're already fully designed and they have both desktop and mobile and you get the video tutorials that go in depth about customizing the site fully from me. And so this can actually save a ton of time whether you are needing a website for yourself or you're even a designer and have your clients use this and then you customize it for them. But this is a great place to start, especially when you are wanting to save a lot of time. Yeah.